Hello, everybody. Welcome this evening. So excited to be with you. I'm most excited that Heather, Dr. Heather Carlisle is going to be presenting with us tonight. Um, Heather is a good friend of mine, and I just am so grateful that she said yes to coming on and teaching about essential oils and supplements for pain. This um, class that she teaches, I've actually done with her before, and it's just seriously phenomenal. I'm really excited for everybody to be able to take part and hear what she is going to be sharing tonight. So like I said, Heather is a doctor. She's a doctor of physical therapy and she is a clinical aromatherapist as well and owns a holistic physical therapy clinic in Georgia. She has three awesome kids. She homeschools and she's renovating a hundred year old house. So Pretty much, that was AKA <laughs> Superwoman. <laughs> so, Heather, thank that you for coming AKA, on. It takes a tribe. I do not claim. <laughs> it does. Oops, sorry. No, you're good. You're good. I'm going to turn it over to you and let you roll. Okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, like Christy said with that introduction, um, Pain is kind of my thing. But yes, I'm doing those things, but like I said, it takes a tribe. I have a support team. Please do not feel like I do everything by myself because I do not. Um, but pain is kind of my jam. I it's kind of a weird thing for me to say to people, but I've kind of learned to embrace that. Um, I specialize in chronic pain. That's what I treat in the clinic. Um, I help people that are struggling with chronic pain and Actually, this week, I just finished my certification. So I am the functional nutrition in pain or for pain. So um, that was a big component that I felt like I was missing and needed a little bit more help in. So it's coming together. But we are going to talk specifically about essential oils and supplements and what doTERRA has to really offer that can help you or someone you love that is struggling with pain. So I am uh, super geeky and I really nerd out over the science guys. So I will try not to drone on. Uh, Christy told me I had to keep this under an hour. So, um, but I do want to share a little bit of science because I think it's important to understand why these oils and supplements are the ones that we gravitate toward for pain. So the first thing I think you have to do is you have to understand what pain is. Um, pain, when it's done correctly in our body, when it's functional, is the body's way of telling us that there's something wrong. And this plays a really important role to protect us from harmful situations. So it's reflex as if you touch something hot, step on something sharp, right? Your brain is gonna quickly react and a signal so you pull away from that painful stimulus, right? The difference is when people are dealing with ongoing or chronic pain, The it's almost like there is a cross up in the wiring. It becomes this kind of scratch on the record where the stimulus is no longer there, the injury is no longer there, but the pain persists. And this can be very debilitating. Um, it wrecks people's quality of life. So, you know, when we are describing pain, you know, we hear anything. I mean, I hear all sorts of descriptors, right? It's aching, it's burning, it's dull, it's stabbing, it's shooting, throbbing. Um, most pain is musculoskeletal in origin, so muscles, joints. Um, a lot of times it's overuse and minor injuries, but it can also be related to a disease process, such as diabetes and cancer, autoimmune diseases. And it can also be nerve related. And that's where I ultimately specialize is in nerve pain. So in order to really grasp pain and the different components than just bones and joints and nerves in this course or in this webinar is understanding how pain interacts with your brain and your central nervous system. So our body registers pain first. Like I said, we have a nice stimulus. Right, it sends a message through the nerve fibers, the spinal cord to the brain stem. The brain gets the message regarding where the pain is being felt and it sends a response back. So pain research has really discovered that brain activity changes 
in response to acute versus chronic pain. So this discovery might explain why something we use for acute pain, like the RICE method, right? Rest, ice, compress, and elevate, doesn't always work for chronic pain. Acute pain is anything that we consider lasting under six months. It's usually related directly to a trauma. You pull a muscle, you break a bone, um, you have a tissue injury, and on average, tissue healing is going to take 12 to 16 weeks. So we expect there to be a healing process that lasts for months. And what happens is once we've gone through that healing process, the pain is persisting longer than that four months, six months, and we are kind of moving more into the realm of chronic pain. Um, and what is happening is there has become a hypo, hyper excitability of the nervous system, and it continues to signal the brain even after something is done. So how do we address acute pain versus chronic pain? And how do we address um, the different types of pain and where they come from? And that's kind of what we're going to dig in tonight. Um, but the first thing we look at, especially for chronic pain, is the pain tension spiral. And if you've ever been stuck in this, or if you've ever had a loved one that's stuck in this spiral, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And what this really is, is that when you experience pain, it causes an increase in muscle tension, right? This increased muscle tension reduces the ability for your tissue to clear toxins like lactic acid. And it further irritates the nerves and the muscle fibers, and it causes more pain. Anything that increases tension further is also going to increase your pain. So things such as stress, uh, feelings of anxiety, not sleeping, poor hydration, um, nutrition deficits, right? Those can all increase muscle tension and result in more pain. And increased muscle, increased pain, then further increase the muscle. So you kind of see where I'm going, right? So then these people are complaining that they don't sleep. Uh, we hear, you know, that they don't, aren't as active. And it just kind of continues to spiral until it feels like it's out of control. So what we want to figure out and what I specialize in is how do we break this pain tension spiral without having to turn to pharmaceuticals, um, invasive procedures, how do we do this in a more healthy, natural way so that we are supporting the body in the healing process and helping it break its own cycle versus just covering those symptoms up? So because we're doing this as a team, I'm not going to be going into the different ways to use the oils. I'm not going into the different safety stuff. I'm going to kind of just assume that if you've been using oils, um, that you've either, one, got a support person that can walk you through that if you don't already know it. Um, or two, that you're pretty familiar with it. So if you're here to find out about pain, the first thing I always have is rate it. So you can look at a couple different categories. You can look at chronic pain, right? So this is pain that's a part of your daily life or is pain that you experience pretty regularly throughout the week for more than six months. All right, that's more physical. So one would be very little and 10 would be pretty extreme. And then, of course, there's the emotional pain. This is that stress, the feelings of anxiousness, um, the fatigue that comes with being in perpetual pain. It can be um, emotional pain just by itself, but we're going to connect it back to physical pain. And then maybe you just have occasional pain. Maybe it's weekend warrior pain, it's you know playing sports, or just doing activities where you're working out and you have that muscle soreness or joint soreness that lasts for a couple days and then it typically goes away until you re-aggravate it. So take a second. I can't see the chat guys, um, but if you do, as I'm going through here, if you wanna put stuff in the chat or you wanna ask questions, I will make sure I take some time at the end. Um, I just wanna give everybody a chance to kind of assess where they are. When it comes to dealing with pain and supporting it, doTERRA does a really good job of showing us that the foundation is what's important. And at the foundation is nutrition. So the foundation of all health, like it says, and what builds the strongest body is what you put in it. So everything we are eating either feeds disease or it fights it. 
you can say everything we eat either creates negative inflammation or it helps the body have a positive inflammatory response. And so LLV has become such a huge piece of what I recommend for people. And there's a couple reasons for this. So other than just filling in nutritional gaps, which is really important, if I had to list a couple things that I felt like were the most important for addressing any kind of chronic situation, it's going to be that you can, one, stabilize your blood sugar, and you can heal your gut, and you can manage the inflammatory response. So what I love specifically, and I know Rachel did an amazing presentation on LLV, so I'm not going to go as nearly in depth as she did, but a couple of things I want to point out. So when it comes to the Microplex DMZ, it has something in it called chromium, right? It's got D3 or vitamin D. So chromium in particular is really good at helping to stabilize blood sugar and Vitamin D is really vital to healing your gut and to help manage healthy inflammation. The alpha CRS is full of antioxidants, which is, of course, important, but it also has something called alpha lipoic acid, which is really important for healing, really important for inflammation. Um, It's something that you want to have, especially if you're struggling with pain. And then I think one of the most important supplements you can take if you're struggling with pain, is the omegas. Uh, Because having omegas in your system, one, supports healthy joints. Of course, it's also um, helping to regulate your blood sugar. It's helping with brain function. It's helping with mood. And it's a natural way to decrease inflammation. I want. Just a minute, bud. Um, So the Lifelong Vitality Pack, when it comes to supporting people that are struggling with pain, if somebody is struggling with chronic pain, then what this is doing is providing a healthy response to the oxidative stress. It's helping to naturally put yourself in a healthy inflammatory cycle. Uh, It's supporting bone health, of course. It's supporting um, muscle, cardio, immune support, joint function. If somebody's struggling with emotional pain, like I said, the omegas especially um, are going to help with mental clarity and brain function. The omegas are great for gut and cognitive support, and of course, fighting against that lipid oxidation um, so that the nervous system in particular is functioning at its best. And then people say, well, what if I don't have chronic pain? What if I just, I'm the weekend warrior, I'm working out, I'm getting occasional aches and pains? Well, that's fine. Um, You have to understand that your body's ability to heal any kind of tissue damage, whether it's acute or chronic, is based on the kind of nutritional foundation it has. So optimal nutrition is going to help you to heal it faster and it's going to be very protective. So this is something that I think I get a lot of questions about and we're talking about prescription pain medications and not just prescription, honestly, people. It is steroids. It is... Uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, their NSAIDs. Um, It is anything that we take and put in our body that is not natural, that is supposed to cover up pain. So we know that our nation is now what we are deeming an opioid crisis um, because pain medication has been way, 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 way over-prescribed. So some of the statistics already are showing things like Uh, pain, prescription pain medications actually cause more deaths than car accidents. Unfortunately, people think that they're safe just because they're prescription and they're being given by a healthcare provider. Um, It can really mess with our head, right? False sense of euphoria. Um, When we are coming off of them, we end up with withdrawal symptoms and it completely wrecks your gut. So it causes leaky gut syndrome. It can cause irritable bowel syndrome, symptoms, um, constipation, um, bloating, nausea. So it is not good for our gut at all. And our gut really is the basis of our health. That's where our immune system starts. That's where our mood is supported. Um, And that's where inflammation really, I think, starts for most people is when you have a leaky gut or you don't have an optimum functioning digestive system, then 
you create inflammation in your body. So there's obviously tips for weaning off pain meds. Um, this is that's way more in depth than I'm going to go for today. But just know that doing things like increasing water, um, just helping to break the habit and support your body um, physically and then having emotional and mental support with community and family uh, really are all very key to reducing the pain medications that you're looking to use and switching to something more natural. Okay, so this is just a quick overview. Uh, please know that LLV is the foundation for everything we talk about from here on out. So it's whatever supplements we talk about plus LLV. Um, so we're going to just hint on, we're going to touch on joint pain. We're going to touch on muscle pain, uh, some emotional pain. I'm going to throw sleep in there just because I really feel like sleep needs to be addressed a little bit. Um, digestive pain, and then more specific things like head tension, migraines, which are a little more specific on their own and not just joint pain. Okay, so for joint pain, and you're going to see some overlap in these, but that's okay. So for joint pain, which is skeletal, right? So there's always a musculoskeletal component. So you'll see overlap with muscle pain. Um, number one go-to is deep blue by far. The deep blue rub is phenomenal. I go through, I don't even know how much of this in my clinic. Um, it is this perfect blend of oils and a carrier that is able to work at a very localized level to help increase circulation. It actually helps to block pain nociception and it helps to actually promote healing, right? It's got the helichrysum in it. It's got the wintergreen and the camphers and all these oils that help to bring blood flow and healing to that area. So deep blue is huge. Um, you want to support that internally with deep blue polyphenol. Now, deep blue polyphenol, hopefully everybody knows that deep blue polyphenol is not the deep blue oil in a capsule. It is a botanical combination um, that is focusing mostly on antioxidants and polyphenols. There are, and like I just completed the course. And so, of course, what do I do? I go and start looking at our supplements because I'm like, okay, do we have this? Do we have this? Deep Blue has all of the anti-inflammatory and antioxidant supplements that they recommended in my course in one capsule. So things like um, your reserve trials and the green tea extract and the boswilla extract and the curcuminoids and the turmeric and the ginger. So Deep Blue Polyphenol, all those things I listed are natural antioxidants. They promote healthy inflammation. They help stabilize blood sugar and balance fatty acids, and they actually reduce the inflammatory factors like the leukotrienes and the prostaglandins, which are directly responsible for our pain response. So deep blue polyphenol is amazing for somebody that's really struggling with chronic musculoskeletal pain. The other one is turmeric. So turmeric has gotten a lot of attention because it's a natural anti-inflammatory and doTERRA and their brilliant, they created these duo capsules. And if you haven't read about the duo capsules and why you want to take this versus just any other turmeric supplement or just the oil, um, go in and read some of the research that doTERRA has done. But basically by adding the oil along with the botanical, the herb, in the capsule, you are getting the best of both worlds. So the tumorones in the essential oils, but actually ups the ability for your body to use it and get results from it. So joint pain, LLV, turmeric, deep blue rub, and deep blue polyphenol. So muscle pain, you're going to see, again, some overlap connected. So we still have deep blue rub. We still have the turmeric. But I like to add in here uh, copaiba and marjoram. And honestly, I would probably even throw frankincense in on this because marjoram and frankincense, especially when applied and layered together, are really, really effective for pain. Copaiba, soft gel or even the oil, however you want to use it, applying it topically or taking it internally, copaiba is 
really great at calming down the nervous system. So nerves are directly connected to muscles because when the muscles are irritated, it can irritate the nerves. And when the nerves are irritated, it can cause muscle pains and spasms and trigger points. So you want to address some of the nerve piece when you're dealing with muscle pain. So copaiba is really good for that. And because it's supporting cardiovascular health and immune response and gut health, it's going to help in the overall healing as well. All right, so emotional pain. So most of what we're talking about when we say emotional pain is the stress, um, the feelings of anxiousness. Um, but I'm not even going to say sleep in this one um, just for you guys. This is this is that pain tension spiral that I talked about at the very beginning, right? So when you're hurting, you have increased stress. When you have increased stress, you have increased muscle tension and you just keep going round and round. So when you, it comes to dealing with, you want to look for supplements that help with natural GABAs and 5-HTPs. Um, and guess what? So Tara did that right. They gave us an oil and they gave us the supplement that are researched and have scientifically shown to help people reduce those feelings of stress and anxiety. It's got natural GABA, it's got natural 5-HTP, and it's got ahi flower. So it's just literally down-regulating our nerve system, nervous system so that we don't have that, that hyper-excitability that comes with stress and that comes with feeling anxious and that comes with pain. So you combine this with something like frankincense, which again, helps to reduce inflammation naturally. Uh, frankincense also can cross the blood brain barrier and it can help to promote cognitive function, relaxation of the nerves. It can turn that constant brain chatter off. You add frankincense with adaptive in the diffuser uh, or you put a citrus oil or something like elevation or citrus bliss in the diffuser and that's very uplifting and all of a sudden you've had a complete shift in your mental state in your emotional state and you're letting go of some of that tension so that the muscles can relax they can clear lactic acid um, and you actually have an improved ability to cope um, which improves the pain threshold level so I love all of these. The only thing I would probably add to this slide going back and thinking about it is the serenity complex that is out there now. So sleep is probably one of the most important things. Sleep and balancing blood sugar slash feeling the gut, those two go hand in hand. If you don't sleep, you don't heal. If you don't sleep, you can't cope. So if you're not sleeping, if that's something that someone has going on, either because of pain or because of stress, then you are going to have a heightened sense of pain. You're going to have increased excitability of your nervous system. Um, your body only releases once, once you finish puberty and you're an adult, your body only releases growth hormones during sleep. So if you get into certain cycles of sleep, especially between the hours of 10 and 2, then your body isn't going to release sufficient growth hormones. And even though we're no longer growing as adults, growth hormones are responsible for a lot of tissue repair. So if you aren't sleeping, you can't repair the tissues and you can't keep your immune system up and you can't support your brain. And so all of these things continue to just compile and create the perfect storm. So make sure you're managing stress. Make sure you're managing sleep. Okay, digestive pain. And that's kind of a weird way to say digestive pain because to me, it's just having an unhealthy gut. Um, you can have pain with an unhealthy gut, but an unhealthy gut is definitely going to contribute to pain and inflammation. So... Like I said, a lot of times as a result of medications and lifestyle and maybe the foods we're eating, uh, people develop inflammation because their gut is allowing things into their system that it normally wouldn't. And so they're having an immune response that then causes widespread inflammation. So one of the best ways to heal that is by um, improving the microbiome in the gut. 
through probiotics and prebiotics. And I love that doTERRA combines the pre and probiotics because prebiotics feed the bacteria so that they can stay healthy. And the probiotic is what puts the bacteria that we want into the gut so we can hopefully keep the bad bacteria out. Uh, Terrazyme, um, oh my gosh, Terrazyme is so good. Terrazyme is a, meta, is a digestive enzyme, so it keeps the body from having to convert metabolic enzymes to digestive enzymes. And it helps your body digest food better. And when you digest food more efficiently, you're able to absorb more nutrients. So those two are really important. Um, Digestin and Tamer are both supportive oils. So they're blends and they have the oils in them that just support the general balance and health of your digestive system. And then there are the new or fairly new um, enteric coated peppermint capsules. And these things are brilliant because they are designed not to, the capsule doesn't dissolve until it gets in to the intestinal system so it makes it through the stomach and especially the lower intestinal system and what peppermint does is peppermint helps to relax the actual muscles in the digestive system which helps with symptoms like the bloating Um, it allows things to move through your system more efficiently and it helps to reduce any kind of spasm related pain so those are really I love that we have those now as well um, so head tension and migraines are a little bit tricky. Um, they can have a lot of different causes. So head tension, migraines, it can obviously be stress. It can be sleep. It can be nutritional related. It can be nerve related. Um, it can be related to food sensitivities. Um, there's lots of different things here. So going back to some of the ones we've already looked at, things like copaiba, right? That's going to downregulate and soothe the nervous system. Frankincense is going to help with stress, help with any inflammation. Past tense is incredible if you've never tried that. Um, Just because it's formulated specifically for tension headaches and migraines. So it helps to release, it helps to improve circulation to the brain. And then eucalyptus is kind of a weird one to throw in there, but eucalyptus is really good for soothing tension. It also helps to open up airways. So if that is anything related to maybe just needing to get more oxygen in the system so that you can take deeper breaths, it helps you to relax. Um, Eucalyptus is just a really good one for that. So I've hinted at all this and it's not oils. This is more lifestyle tips, but you, oils are a tool. And I want people to remember that oils and supplements are a tool right? This is a way to support your your body. It's a way to support your health and your wellness, but it is not the end-all be-all. Like essential oils give us the ability to support our bodies as they heal, but they can't do it if we don't have certain lifestyle pieces in place or they can't do it as efficiently. So like I said, the first one is sleep. And I talked about this a minute ago. If you are not sleeping, you need to make sure you're using oils and supplements that support that. Um, if you aren't sleeping and you're not releasing the growth hormones like we talked about, it's just going to be so hard for your body to relax and heal and repair itself. So again, and eight hours of sleep is always ideal. I understand. I don't always get eight hours of sleep, but I try to at least get six or seven and I try to at least make sure my sleep is happening between the hours of 10 and two as much as I can. Eat real food. We talked about LLV. I love LLV. LLV fills in the holes. But you can't take LLV and then eat nothing but processed junk. So so eating real food is really key to supporting everything. You want to avoid sugar and processed foods and anything that may be an allergy or sensitivity or a trigger because that's just going to increase inflammation. Um, When I went through my certification course, obviously, I'm not able to just create meal plans for people, but I can tell you that something like the Mediterranean diet, where they're really focusing on foods that are rich in healthy omegas, that are rich in a variety of vegetables and fruit and olive oil. 
whole grains, like those kind of things, if you don't have a specific reason not to eat them for health reasons, like it's just very well-rounded and it's really almost an anti-inflammatory type diet. So minimize sugar, minimize caffeine, minimize alcohol and get a variety of fruits, vegetables, proteins, and omegas in your diet, and that right there alone makes a huge difference. Make sure you hydrate. I don't care if you put citrus oils or mint oils or real fruit or whatever it is, whether it's herbal teas, get water. Uh, if you don't hydrate, your body can't function. Hydration is necessary for your digestive system to work. It's necessary for your joints to have to know your fluid so that there's cushioning between the bones. It's necessary for your muscles to be able to glide and not have adhesions form between them. Um, it's necessary for your brain to function. Like everything needs water. So if you don't do anything else this week, watch your water intake. Are you getting enough? Really, you should be getting roughly, depending on how active you are, close to double your weight in water. So in ounces, I mean, sorry, half your weight, not double, half your weight in water. So, you know, if you are 140 pounds, then somewhere around 60 to 70 ounces, which is that roughly 64 ounces or eight cups a day. That works for the average person. If you're very active, if you're outside, if you're in the heat and you're sweating, you need more. So make sure you hydrate. Add, you know, add lemon oil to it or add tangerine oil or whatever it is. I like to do herbal teas and I just don't sweeten them. Um, but get water. And then if you really aren't sure where to start, doTERRA and their, again, brilliance has given us starting points. So this in particular is the new relief wellness program that doTERRA rolled out a few months ago. And you get, it's an LRP. So you get three different months worth of products. Most of them are ones we've talked about. Um, let me just tell you, this little massage ball thing right here, OMG, this thing is incredible for trigger points. I'm just saying, I'm a PT, I love it. Um, but it's like worth it just to get that thing. Um, but the massage ball, but you get the deep blues and the copaibas and the turmeric and you know the aroma touches in there. And you get so many of the different things we talked about today that you can build up over three months. Now, I, most people that are dealing with chronic pain, they have more than one thing going on. So guess what? They also have a three-month program for sleep. And they have the three-month program for stress. So you may have to start with sleep before you actually go to the relief wellness program. Or maybe you feel like stress is a big cause of your pain because you're holding a lot of muscle tension. You know you, but I highly encourage you to just give yourself 90-day blocks of windows to address the main issue one at a time. Because if you try to address everything at once, it can be really overwhelming when you're talking about sleep and you're talking about stress and you're talking about pain and digestion and all these different pieces. So if I had to give a recommendation, either start with gut health and eating and nutrition, or start with sleep, and then address pain and stress. Um, I know that sounds kind of backwards, but you need to have the foundation on the inside in order to manage what's going on. So that is just my perspective. That's what we do at my clinic. Um, I'm going to come out of the share and see if we have any questions. That was brilliant. There haven't been any questions so far. So you did okay. a phenomenal job. Well done. If you guys do have questions or you, you know, you guys can reach out to me. I'm in, I'm in the group. So if you just tag me in a comment, I'm happy to reach out to you guys and answer any questions. Um, but yeah, other than that. Brilliant. Thanks, Heather. I really appreciate you getting on and sharing all of your knowledge with everybody. This is going to be an incredible webinar to have just on hand and available for people to be able to 
listen to later because I know a lot of people were registered tonight and yeah. not a lot of people were on necessarily. So I'm just really grateful. Yes, Jenny, right? It was amazing. Heather is awesome. amazing. I love this information. <laughs> thank so. you, Jenny. <laughs> okay. Well, thank All you right. so much. I'll talk to you later. No problem. Y'all have a good night. Bye. Okay. Bye.